Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into BP which is one of the world's largest oil and gas companies. But we won't just be talking about its history, we're looking ahead at the future of the oil market, BP's growth prospects, specific projects they're working on and the key data behind the stock. As always we will build our view using research rather than clickbait nonsense and I'll make an informed decision on whether BP is a good investment in today's rapidly evolving energy market. Let's get into it. When we talk about BP's future, we need to first consider the future of oil. BP's core business has historically been oil, but we're seeing an energy transition as nations globally push towards net zero emissions. Now this is a figure published from BP's own energy outlook statement published in 2023. And what you can see on the right side is carbon emissions in 2050 based on the net zero policy or the current trajectory. But energy demands by 2050 are only gonna go up, which is shown by the black arrow. This is primarily due to extraordinary growth in emerging markets, which is shown in the black circle. So how can carbon emissions go down if global demand for energy is going up? This is even more baffling when you look at BP's own energy outlook, because they forecast that global oil demand could peak before 2030 under a net zero scenario, particularly if the push towards renewables accelerates. Now here's the thing, in developed countries with advanced technology and financial backing, it's relatively easy to transition to renewables and cleaner energy sources, but most of the global population lives in developing countries going through industrial advancement, and oil is still critical in sectors like aviation and shipping. So oil demand could still grow because developing countries do not have the financial backing to suddenly transition to clean energy. So global governments are highly unlikely to succeed with the net zero policy. And if we look at current trajectories, then the combined amount of oil and gas use by 2050 will remain relatively stable. And in fact, renewables look like they're gonna replace coal instead, as shown by the smaller gray section by 2050. This is even more apparent in this figure. It shows energy demand will increase over time, but the green and red bars remain relatively the same size, which is oil and gas use. The big change by 2050 is that the renewable energy bar, aka the gray bar, gets bigger, replacing coal, which is shown by the yellow bar. This is obviously great news for BP, because they can maintain their holding in oil and gas, but expand into that renewable energy sector, then it could be a driving force for consistent growth into the future. So now let's look at BP's strategy for that future growth, as this is where BP really does stand out. BP has committed to becoming a net zero company by 2050, and to make that happen, they're investing in a number of key projects across renewables and low carbon energy. One such project is called Beacon Wind, which is a huge wind farm just off the coast of Massachusetts, and it's expected to have enough capacity to power over 1 million homes in the US, and BP owns 100% of the wind farm. In addition, BP is putting a lot of his eggs in hydrogen production, which is going to be a critical part of the energy transition. They're building a large-scale green hydrogen facility in the UK called High Green Teesside, and the project aims to produce 500 megawatts of hydrogen energy by 2030, positioning BP as a leader in the emerging hydrogen market. And then you've got the actual infrastructure for charging electric vehicles. In 2022, BP acquired a major EV charging company called BP Pulse, with plans to install thousands of fast charging stations globally. They're also investing in biofuels and have been part of key projects in Europe and Brazil. These investments are part of BP's wider goal to increase its renewable energy generation capacity 20-fold by 2030. Now of course, this is going to be a huge challenge for BP in order to turn these green investments into profitable businesses. So let's have a look at the key metrics behind the stock so that we can assess if we would like to invest into BP considering these challenges that BP are going to face in the future. BP is currently trading at a P ratio of 11.7 which does seem high when you look at the other energy companies listed below. However, BP does have an earnings growth of 10.2% and a P ratio of 11.7 is low compared to the general market, which is currently trading at a P ratio of around 20. BP also pays a very strong dividend with a current yield of around 5.9%. This is extremely attractive in the energy sector and for the UK as well, and they've been consistent with dividends even during tough times like the oil crash of 2020. Additionally, BP has announced plans to continue share buybacks, having already committed around $1.5 billion for 2023. And although BP does have a fluctuating net income due to investments, it does have a healthy revenue stream pulling in a lot of money, has very healthy free cash flow, and also when we look at the assets to liabilities, 
you can see that the assets far outstrip the liabilities, showing that BP is in a very healthy position in terms of its debt. So BP's financial fundamentals do look nice and solid, whilst it tries to break out into that new renewable energy sector. So now let's answer that all important question. Is BP a good investment? On the plus side, BP is transitioning aggressively towards green energy, with flagship projects like Beacon Wind and High Green Teesside showing real promise. They've got strong cash flows from their oil business, which funds both dividends and new investments. Their dividend yield and buybacks make them very attractive to income-focused investors. On the other side, there is execution risk in their transition to renewables. Can BP scale these projects profitably and how long will it take? Investors will need patience and if oil prices decline over the long term, BP's traditional revenue stream could be at risk. To sum it up, BP is a company at a crossroads. It's balancing its traditional oil business with ambitious renewable energy projects. Whether it's a good investment depends on your view of oil's future and BP's ability to execute its strategy. I personally think it's a great investment opportunity and can see the share price increasing up to the £5 region in the medium to long term. What do you think about BP? Are you optimistic or pessimistic on its future? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content like this and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. See you next time.